we try to find the value for this expression here that's the sum of cosine pi over 7, 3 pi over 7, and 5 pi over 7. We're going to use trigonometry today. All right, so that's the expression. Notice the pattern here, right? Now it turns out that we're going to use an algebra trick, the product to sum identity to solve this problem. One of the product to sum identity is sine cosine. Sine x cosine y, we turn this product into the sum of sine x plus y and x minus y. There are similar identity for sine x sine y cosine x cosine y. We're going to use this identity to solve our problem. We try to find the value for this expression, but the trick here is we're going to multiply by sine pi over 7. But why? You're going to find that soon. So let's do that. And let's expand it. Now we can use product of sum identity here. Now the first term, however, you can just use the fact that sine x cosine x is equal half of sine 2x. All right, let's do that. So this sine 2 pi over 7, and there's a 1 half in front of it. Now for this term, when we use the earlier identity, that becomes sine the sum, which is 4 pi over 7. The difference here, pi minus 3 pi would be negative 2 pi. So in other words, this term here turn into this sum here. Now we continue with the final term, this product to sum. This time we're going to have what? The, when you add, it's 6 pi. When you minus, it's going to be negative 4 pi. All right, 6 pi, negative 4 pi. So this is what we have. Now we can simplify the terms, right? So we have this many terms. But notice that this is sine 2 pi over 7, and this is negative, right? This is 4 pi over 7, this is negative. There is an important identity, sine negative x equal negative sine x. So in other words, they're going to cancel each other, right? This term and the negative term cancel, 4 pi and the negative term cancel. And we only left with half of sine 6 pi over 7. Now, 6 pi over 7 is equal pi minus pi over 7. And we use another identity, which is sine pi minus x equals sine x. If two numbers add up to pi, the sine value are the same, which means we're going to cancel this on both sides, right? They're equal to each other. And when we left with s, which is the sum we're looking for, is equal to 1 half. Beautiful results. So what we did today is to use some trick identity to solve the problem. So this is another testament for the beauty of math. Now, in fact, there is another approach, which is also very beautiful, and it is complex numbers. All right, for that, we're going to do it in the next video. For these and other interesting math problems, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.